unboxing and first impressions from the final production of uh, the Zorro dice game together with the expansion and the goodies that you see in front of you. Uh, we had the opportunity to uh, make a preview video for the game during the Kickstarter campaign. Now this is a final uh, production so we have the opportunity to see all the components in detail. For those of you who don't know please refer to the video where we explain the, the how to play and we provide a small review uh, and a small opinion from the, the place that we had with the game. A very very fun and enjoyable dice game. Uh, basically this is a game for two to six players, plays around 15 to 30 minutes, ages 13 and up and it's very very simple, complexity is one out of five. The designer of the game uh, of course uh, is Brian Henk and Clayton Skanke and uh, the company that produces the game, the publisher, is Pull the Pin Games. Let's open uh, all the components and see what we find in this uh, pledge, which includes everything and some additional goodies. So, there you have it. This is uh, the final production of, uh, of the game. This is how it looks like. Uh, Pull the Pin uh, has this fun, uh, let's say, motor logo with uh, Pull the Pin that has a pin on the top of uh, of these sleeves for their games and this is really fun actually so there you have it this is how the game looks the back i like the pin that they have done for it uh, and boom <laughs> you pull the pin and then you have an explosion okay then uh, the game opens with a magnetic lid and inside we find uh, all the components we find the promo for good cup bad cup it's a great game part game by the way we find the rules of the game uh, you see the components listed, uh, you see the setup, and then you see uh, what you do on your turn. You take the three following steps, you travel, you attempt, and you collect. And then you a few words about equipment, hero dice, and scoundrels, villains, and the final battle. This is a very, very simple but fun and enjoyable dice game. I really enjoyed this one. Looking forward to try it with this final production. Um, copy some FAQs for the major things in the game. Uh, this is nice, by the way. Great, lots of goodies in this game. And then we have uh, the pawns. These are six hero tokens for the players. We have this nice uh, custom dice and look really nice with uh, and they have to fit on the cards that's why I really like uh, uh, the compact size of those these are custom dice it's good quality as I see you can easily distinguish all uh, the sides and all the different results so they look really nice very happy with this and then we have the cards of the game they even come with a bagging so let's open the deck so this is the core what I'm showing you now. So let's see. The art on the cards. And the final production. Oh, these are nice. Line and finish, nice quality. Good card stock. So these are equipment, as you can see. Common equipment. Cape, of course, daggers, gloves, hat, ladder, sack, saddle, and many more. And these are again common equipment the mask, the sword, tornado, the trap. And these are premium equipment that you can differentiate with a golden background. And then we have all these cards, which are first of all the villain that uh, you have to win for your final uh, for your battles uh, Valentina the Spur, a villain again and Jose Sebastian Vagra the Eagle these are the three uh, villains El Cuchillo de Bandito the fourth one and then we have Scoundrels Band of Banditos. Nice art on the cards. Iconography is great, you can distinguish everything easily. Really like what they have done 
with the art uh, in the game. And then we have all these cards, which are the heroic, heroic uh, feet. So let's see them. Rescue Tornado, Save the Farmer's Daughter, Stop a Runaway Stagecoach, Unblock the uh, aqueduct, aqueduct, Expose uh, a Bamboozler, Find the Lost True Love, Nice Art, Recover the Stolen Jewels, Recruit an Informant, Adopt an Orphan, Interrupt a Firing Squad, Persuade an enemy, unmask an imposter, conduct a remedy, free the barkeep, subvert an extortion, and unnecessary swinging entrance. So there you have it, these are the heroic feats, look very nice, uh, and these are what are included in the core game. Again, I like the dice a lot, the, the box is very very qualitative with the magnetic uh, lead, and uh, everything included. So let's see some additional things. There's some more premium equipment from the Kickstarter and some common equipment uh, unlocked as a Kickstarter extras, restraints, mirror, and some common equipment like torch, medicine, fireworks, and a donkey. Okay, then we have some additional cards here. I believe it's one for each player. So we have uh, the different personalities for the heroes of the game. Okay, cool. Uh, the game comes with uh, this pledge. The only in pledge comes with uh, this extremely nice uh, and thematic sleeves. Really like those. Let me uh, just show you how, for example, this scoundrel card would look in there has like a frame, uh, looks really nice, but I suppose the best way in order to avoid hiding the text is to put it the other way around, so you can see all the color and then you see this nice border around uh, your cards at the back, really nice premium sleeves. We have this uh, the dice tray that you can carry with you for uh, Zorro the Dice Game and other games with a velvet finish. Very easy to set together and have a dice tray uh, that you can carry with you for your games. Very qualitative, good, good quality. We have some baggies to separate the different cards by categories with uh, printed art for the scoundrels, the characters, the heroic feats, the premium equipment, uh, the villain and the common equipment. Very, very nice. Then we have this huge leather baggy that it has a Z on it. How cool is that from both sides? So you can put everything in there together with the box and you can hang it from your library. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, this could be the uh, starting player or you can play around wearing the mask yourself. And then we have in addition these upgrades, which I upgrade the these tokens to character tokens, very nice, printed, double-sided, good quality, nice colors, they look very, very nice. Okay, there you have it. Okay. And then uh, the next thing that we have is this expansion that comes with some additional content for the game in this small box. Buy for the mask now with up to, to eight players, so it's an expansion that expands the game all the way up to eight players and there is a solo included. Uh, with four premium equipment, eight heroic feats, eight villain, twelve common equipment, two player markers and eight scoundrel. So, let's see what that means. Uh, we have the setup changes for the game and the gameplay changes and a description for the solo. Really nice to have solo always. Some FAQs, 
and again the promo for uh, the other successful party game, a buggy, two additional phones for playing up to eight players, and some more cards. Really happy to, to see that there is a solo in this expansion and not to mention that you can play all the way up to 8 players, so that's ideal for a party game. So more cards in this expansion, seems that it's an expansion worth having with all this gameplay um, additional material. So more villain, scoundrels, heroic feats, premium and common equipment. So let's see them. Okay, lots of stuff here. A lot of equipment. Cards, courage, card, gemstone, etc. Some more heroic feats, which would be those ones. Protect the sacred grounds, part the bandits. Raid the government caravan, seek justice for a betrayal, liberate the oppressed, overthrow a rigged election. Oops, we have the pants a tax collector, <laughs> spark a revolution, and this is uh, these are some additional cards here with the remaining. Uh, we have some more scoundrels. Very nice art. De Soro, De Soto, Alcalde, a villain. Another villain. El Conejo, de Conman. I'm horrible pronouncing this correctly. Lorenzo Lorano, the, the hypnotist. The emissary. The capitan. The gambler. And the buccaneer. So, lots of different cards included in uh, uh, the expansion. So, very, very happy with uh, the production uh, and all the components in this pledge for uh, the Zorro, Zorro the dice game. Uh, great, fun, and enjoy, enjoyable and uh, extremely interesting dice game. It has simple rules and plays well. Now all the way up to eight plays, also with the solo option. Mm -hmm.